Let's get started by logging into our Zen Desktop 7.7 controller. We go to the directory where we downloaded the Moonshot tools. Here we have two DLLs that we need to copy and we need to register on our Zen Desktop 7.7 controller. We'll go into the Machine Manager V24400 directory and create a new folder called HP Moonshot. Inside that directory, we'll paste the two DLLs that we need for Zen Desktop Studio. We'll then register the new plugins using the command below. And after the new plugins are successfully registered, we'll start the services MSC and we'll stop and restart to Zen Desktop Services. The Citrix Broker Service is the first service we're going to stop. Followed by the Citrix Host Service. Once those services are restarted, we'll go ahead and go to our studio console. If the studio console is open previously, we're going to go ahead and close it to ensure that the new plugins register. Now that the studio console is opened, we'll go ahead and go into our configuration, then click on hosting. And from here, we'll click on add connection and resources. If we were successful registering the plugins, we'll now see the HP Moonshot Machine Manager as a connection type. We can manually configure that here, but in the V2 version, we can also automatically allow the wizard to do that for us. We'll then switch over to our provisioning services machine and click on the downloaded Moonshot tools. We'll go to the PBS Wizard folder and right click and run as administrator the XD Wizard Moonshot EXE. We'll follow the prerequisites needed here that need to be applied on the provisioning server. First one is to enable PowerShell remoting. Once that's finished, we need to go ahead and register the MCLI snap and DLL. After that, we need to go to Active Directory for our provisioning server, find the object, go to Properties, Delegation, and enable the Trust This Computer for Delegation to any service. Now that that's done, we can continue and start the provisioning wizard. First, we'll enter the ILO Chassis Manager address, as well as the ILO Chassis Manager username and password. Next, we'll enter our domain controller fully qualified domain name, followed by our Zen Desktop Broker and Provisioning Server fully qualified domain name. We'll then enter the username and password that will be used for the Zen Desktop Broker as well as a provisioning server. This account must also have Active Directory Administrator rights to create objects in Active Directory as well. We'll then click Next. The wizard will then query the chassis manager to look for the cartridges that it sees in the chassis. If successful, we'll be able to contact the provisioning server and see the virtual disk we created before. We'll select our virtual disk and our collection. And here we'll be able to see all the machine names we're going to create. We'll select our domain name and the machine OU we're going to create these machines in. And then select all the physical machines we're going to create and import. 
The wizard will now go through and query every machine and find it inside the chassis manager, inside the Moonshot chassis, and then from there it will create the Active Directory objects for each machine automatically. Next, we'll talk to our Zen Desktop controller and create our catalog. We'll enter in the name for the catalog. Note that if you do go ahead and click Next, a message will pop up saying that you must specify machine catalog target. Make sure you select the radio button to the left that says Create a new machine catalog, as well as typing in the new catalog name, then click Next. We will then talk to the Zen Desktop controller and automatically create the catalog for the new Moonshot machines. Those are all successfully completed and we'll click Finish. At this point, we can switch back over to our controller and open up the Studio Console. By clicking on Machine Catalogs, we can now see that the Moonshot Zen Desktop Catalog was automatically created using the Moonshot Provisioning Wizard. The next step is to create the delivery group. We'll select the catalog that's been pre-created and the amount of physical machines we want to provision. And then last, we'll apply a delivery group name. And click Finish. Now the catalog and delivery group are created. We can browse into the machine and see all the Moonshot machines that are created automatically for us. We can also check our hosting connection. The wizard automatically created this for us as well. Because these are physical machines, we can also change the percentage and power management as well, just like they were virtual machines. Let's see if our power management is working on our delivery group. If we click View Machines and then go to the Power State column, by clicking on the Power State column, we can change it to see the power state of the machines. After just a few seconds, the power state status will change, and we'll see one of the machines start to power on using the power management functionality of the Zen Desktop Controller. Here we can see our first machine is now turning on, and we'll be ready to log in to shortly.